every couple of days. This is the process that Lilith spiderlings go through to assure that they're healthy and fed. As you can see, there's a lot of carcasses on the bottom here. That's um, either prey that they've already sucked dry or um, things that didn't survive. You don't wanna leave those in there because they will <clears throat> cause bacterial growth, sometimes fungal growth. So on the bottom of each container is L321. That's for Lilith and March of 2021 so that I know which offspring I'm dealing with in the event that I have any other spiderlings come in. That way I won't inbreed anyone. So the first thing that I need to do is find out where this Q-tip head is. As you can see right here, that is um, where their source of water is and it could squish them. So I very gently want to remove that. Make sure it doesn't fall on anybody. And then I dip it twice, once, twice, in reverse osmosis water, kind of wipe it off on the side, and then put it back in with the spiderlings. After that, I'll go in and get all of the little carcasses out, being careful not to trouble the spiders if possible. There are two in here. One is here, one is here. And then there's a lot of little carcasses on the lid, so I'm gonna clean all those off too. Once I have that taken care of, I'm going to get ready to give them new prey from the flightless fruit fly culture. I got this from Josh's Frogs. Hopefully I'll be able to breed my own. I glued a small straw to the top because it's much easier to not have a million of them going everywhere every time you open it. So I wait for them to come down and then lightly tap them out. You want to have at least as many uh, prey species in there as you do of the spider and preferably more. That way they look less appetizing to each other. You much rather them eat the prey than each other. I do feel a little guilty about live feeding like this just because it feels like I'm sending someone to narfle the Garthak. But when doing a project like this, unfortunately, these are predators, so it's a necessary evil. Once I have their flies in with them, I'll gently turn it again, watching that Q-tip, making sure that when it falls, it doesn't fall on anybody. You use the Q-tip soaked with water because a drop of water is enough to drown one of these tiny spiders or the prey. They can get stuck in the surface tension alone. So it's incredibly important that you watch. Um, as you can see, there's a drop here and I don't like the size of it that came out of that Q-tip. So I'm going to dry that out. And then that way, they can drink out of the moist Q-tip, and it also provides the right amount of humidity for these four ounce deli cups that they need to molt successfully. You can't see probably, but I've put several small ventilation, cross ventilation holes in layers and in the top of this all around. That helps as well. From the side, you can see that it looks like a little tree. It gives them something to climb on, gives the prey something to make them feel a little more secure. I'm continuing to divide them up. These guys here still need to be changed and cleaned. These guys will be divided into their own new graduation apartments. There's some of the trees. And then the ones that have already been fed and cleaned for today are over here, right next to this bright light at my house it's very important for them to have very bright lighting. Here we have oh, getting up the baby jumping spiders, also known as spiderlings, and their flightless fruit flies. The ones holding berries still 
are the three baby jumpers. The ones running around are the flightless fruit flies. We'll see if we can get any footage of them hunting. They are very, very quick. Almost, almost. Oh, and the one on the bottom got it. His brother stunned him and then he got it. You can see this is the, this is one of the smallest of the spiderlings. It's a really little guy. Look at him, he's got his mouth parts in him. He's holding his legs up. Uh-oh, he's going to walk over by my ink. It's amazing. These little guys take down prey that's the same size as they are. And it looks like the little spider is winning. There, now the spider's on the left. The fruit fly is on the right. Incredible. Are you gonna take him up his little tree? Yep, that's all he's gonna do. Now little spider has a meal.